Hey, what's up everyone? This is Jackson from Windows Phone Hacker, and I'm just going to show you uh, my progress on the Notification Center app. So, um, you'll notice I changed the tile a little bit. I'm not really attached to this design, but I was sort of messing around in Photoshop, and I wasn't really sure, you know, how, how you actually, like, represent a notification using, you know, like, symbolic uh, icons, because, I mean, like, it's a notification, so... Anyway, so, admittedly, it kind of looks like the American Airways, uh, I mean, the U.S. Airways logo but I'll, I'll fix that. But anyway, this is just sort of the idea that I've come up with. Uh, so here we have the tile, and we can jump into the app, and just a couple of things to talk about uh, once we get in there. So I got a lot of feedback over the last few days uh, in regards to the application. Uh, some really good ideas, some not so good, but to each his or her own. Um, and uh, some ideas that were really good but couldn't really be pulled off, um, at least initially. Um, so really, just for the sake of getting this out there as soon as possible, I'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible for the first release and try to I'll try to clean up the original design but stick to just sort of a basic notification list. And if I want to split it off into uh, separate categories and stuff or list by application, then I can do that. Uh, a little bit later, but I wanted to get this out as soon as possible. Um, so a lot of people suggested that ha uh, that I have the ability for you to tap on the notification to pull up the application, and uh, this is a little bit complicated to do without native code. In fact, it's actually impossible. Um, so to sort of get around this, I sort of came up with another way. You can tap on this on the notification, and it'll pop up the toast that originally had popped up for the notification. And you tap on that. Uh, this one's from Twitter. And it'll go ahead and jump you into Twitter, and then we'll wait about a month for it to load, and it should dive us right into where that notification is, as if you just clicked on the original toast when it popped up. So if you miss the toast message, then you can go into the notification center and click on it. So just wait for this to download from the server, and there you go. Um, and just to go back to the tile and sort of show the changes, I have sort of the bigger icon when you have nothing going on. And then if I send a message to myself on Twitter real quick. Um, then we get the toast message up there, and then this changes to a 1. And we should be able to see in a second. It flips on the back, and it'll say sort of the first uh, little bit of the notification will pop up on the tile. Uh, so, you know, that's just sort of a useful way to keep track of what's going on if you don't want to open up the notification center. And again, if you dive into that... Um, It'll give you the list of the notifications and et cetera and so forth. And just to point this out, this is running really slow because I'm running it with the debugger on, so you know that's why it's incredibly slow. It's actually really fast when you run it on a phone, as you saw in uh, in my previous demo. Uh, so you know there's there's the uh, notification that you saw. You tap on that and it should pop up the toast up there, yeah. And if you go back to the start screen, of course, the counter is reset. Um, so that's just a look at my progress with it. I don't know when I'm going to be able to get this out, uh, but hopefully soon I'll be able to contact some people to test it. And, um, you know, keep the ideas coming. I'm trying to keep it uh, simple but really functional, and I want to be able to make it... Um, I want to be able to stay within the realm of the APIs we're allowed to use just so I can slip it into the marketplace and try to get it to as many people as possible. Uh, so thanks for all the feedback, and hopefully if you have any more ideas, uh, let me know. Have a great day.